Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to In The Zone with Action Zone. Guess what guys, this week is Veteran Small Business Week and we have an amazing guest with us today. Her name is Wandi Tumlin. She is an army retired veteran. And uh, no, are you a combat veteran? I am a combat, a combat veteran. veteran. Yes. Where did you serve? Overseas? I served in Iraq twice. In Iraq, awesome. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. She is a real estate expert. And so we're featuring her because she's won several awards as a real estate agent. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> <laughs> so as a real estate agent, um, when we help our clients, you know, and we do pretty well. So they have, you know, I was able to do an amazing job and that gave me the opportunity to win some awards for um, most sale. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I noticed that because I follow you on social media and I was like, you know what, she'll be the perfect person to interview and I'm just so happy that you were able to join us today. So before we get too deep into the real estate, let's talk about your service. You served in the army. Tell us about why you chose the army, where you've, where you've served uh, within the United States. And of course, you mentioned that you served in Iraq yes. and then we can take it from there. Yes. So just like you, you know, from Jamaica, I came, I migrated from Dominican Republic and I was 16, just graduated from high school, didn't know what to do with my life. So I decided to join in the military. I was 19 years old and uh, that was my, my choice, my option. So I served 21 years, I mean, 24 years in the service. And I have been overseas, um, like you say, Iraq, but also Germany twice. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I didn't yeah. get to go to Germany, so good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I served in Alaska, and Hawaii, Washington, uh, Georgia, New York. So it has been an uh, amazing blessing. You've been all over the coast. Yes. <laughs> um, so what brought you to Tampa? Are you from here? Besides, so when you came from the Dominican Republic, where did you settle? Actually, when I came from my country, I came to Orlando. Okay. Yes. So the only thing I knew about Tampa was when you come through, you know, through the process to join, and that was it. Um, and then I got the opportunity to be a station in Tampa. And when I got here, and I was like, this place is amazing. I didn't want to go. So I decided to retire and stay here and make nice. it home. You know, we find that a lot of people do that. Yes. They get stationed in Tampa and they don't want to leave and they just retire here. Yes. <laughs> so what made you decide to go the entrepreneurship route and start a business versus going to work for another organization after the Army? Good question. Um, so as a veteran and like I say, 24 years of service, I do have a master's degree in human resources, the 24 year human resources. So naturally, uh, veterans tend to work for the government. Um, but I, we have a, a young child. We have five children between my husband and I, and you know, as you know, he served, he mm -hmm. served 28 years, 29 years. Um, so we have a very young child. He's four now. And it just like decided, you know what? I want to do something that I can spend time with our kids. The other four kids, that's all they knew. The military life, moving around, changing school all the time. So we wanted to give him different life and right. different, you know, so it's, that's the reason why. Which is a great reason. <laughs> it's a great reason to start a new career as an entrepreneur because you get that quality time with your, with your family. Yes, definitely. You know, especially the kids. Uh, so you decided to do real estate because it was going to be flexible and allow you to do that. Yes, I never thought that I can do real estate. It was never in my radar to do real estate. Uh, but I met um, a good friend, a co-worker, and he was doing, he was active duty and doing real estate, getting ready to retire. And he mentioned it and talked about it. So I just like, wow, you know, I never think about that. So I naturally just went, went to school, to the test, to the state test. And I learned so much from it that I was like, man, this is something that I can really do. I can help so many people, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I can be my own boss and have the flexibility to be with my son and my kids. Right, and knowing the military community, we're always moving. Yes. And folks always need someone in the real estate business to help them to get a home. Yes. Because PCS season is like all, all year long. <laughs> it seems like <laughs> it's not the winter, it's the summer, it's the fall. So uh, this, is, this is great. Um, so before we move on, I want to talk a little bit about transitioning and did you try to use any agency to help you to transition from the army? I did the normal um, standard transition. You know, you go through TAF with the military. 
uh, to help you transition. I did, took some additional classes to help me to be an entrepreneur. Uh, that definitely helped. Um, one other thing is like, I started real estate like about a year and a half before I retired, you know, just to, you know, be easier to transition. Awesome. So definitely that helped me um, to have a smooth transition out of the military. Good. So the reason why I wanted to ask you that because we're here today because of Action Zone. Action Zone is an organization that helps military veterans and spouses to transition from the military into entrepreneurship. And I had the opportunity to go through their program in 2019. So it's a cohort for new business owners or if you already have your business and you want to grow and expand and then take it to the next level, Action Zone is definitely a place for you to go. Um, and that's why we're featuring military veterans today because they have a heart for veterans and their families. And I'm just excited that this is starting and celebrating the week of the veteran the veterans. entrepreneurs. Yes, so um, what are some of the, well, what was one of the hardest thing, hardest part about running your business? Um, even though I have the flexibility, just like starting any new business, you gotta hustle, you gotta work hard, you gotta work long hours until you get the rhythm and you get your schedule um, set up and you get some systems in place to be able to run your business. Like like I mentioned before, I did it about a year and a half before I retired, so I have to work evenings, I have to work weekends uh, to be able to start the business. So that was, it was, that was the hardest thing for me. And that's what I find with um, just speaking to all, to entrepreneurs, that that's always the hardest thing. It's just the beginning of it, uh, especially. And so what type of resources um, did you find available when it comes to your specific field uh, that you think helped or, or you didn't have any resources except for what you studied? Mm. <laughs> Share with so, us. <laughs> I said in the veteran side, I'm not, you know, it wasn't much resources, but when I joined this amazing company that I belong to, mm -hmm. they provided so much resources and training and um in support that it definitely helped my transition from being active duty soldier to entrepreneurship and the real estate. It was a, pro a easier process. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you do differently? If you had to do something differently, what would you do differently to come into transition into real estate? One thing that I regret, um, because I started early in real estate before retirement, by the time I retired, I was full blown. <laughs> Around the business, <laughs> so I didn't get to take time off. Okay. Yes, at all. So even even the whole time I was in transition, Lee, um, I was working. Mm -hmm. So that was my only regret. Okay. Well, I can definitely understand. Uh, I didn't go directly to work after I got out. Um, because I felt I needed that break. So <laughs> we all do. I think you missed out. <laughs> but you had a few, you know, several steps ahead to get your feet into the door before you got out of the military, yes. which is great, which is yes. great. And, and that's why you were able to be so successful yes. and win all these awards. I was like, man, Wandy again. <laughs> realtor, top selling realtor in the area. And, I'm super proud of you and it really draw, it draws my attention and I'm pretty sure it draws other people's attention with your, your success in real estate. Um, so there are some folks, and, and this is just coming out of the top of my head, um, that I've seen getting into the local TV shows or creating a show around real estate. Is that something that you would want to do? Sure. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, you know what? I think it would be awesome because... And there's always a different spin that you can take um, when it comes to creating a show. But I love watching HGTV and all these other home <laughs> shows. So it'll be another one added to my list because it's something that yes. we all love to see beautiful homes, especially <laughs> luxury homes. Because it's like, one day, one day. <laughs> I like to sell beautiful homes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but thank you so much for you know joining us today. Can you please let them know uh, where they can reach you if they need to get some help with real estate? Of course. Um, this is Wandy Tomlin. I work for Catalonia New Tampa. And you can reach me at 813-485-4663. Thank you so much for joining us and be sure to check out Action Zone and we will make sure that we have the web, actual website, all the social media on under the text in the video. Take care guys and thank you for joining. 
in the zone with action zone i'm your host maxine reyes and we'll see you next time take care bye <laughs>